Hey, what's up? It's Andrew. And by the end of this video series, you'll learn exactly how you can counter-program your brain to go from a state of scattered thinking due to the internet and constant dopamine addiction to a state of clear and calm thinking. So if you haven't seen any of the videos before, I suggest you go back to video one and start and go through it just day by day by day. And if you're new around here, then like the video and subscribe because these videos are going to be coming out one day after one day after one day whilst I'm on holiday. But let's get right into the video. You reply to emails as soon as they pop up. You decide to answer texts and go on your phone when you're in a lecture. You're on the way to work and you're listening to a podcast. Multitasking, yeah, when you do it, it seems so productive, it seems so effective, but in reality, multitasking crushes productivity. A day spent multitasking is almost a day wasted when you compare it to a day filled with deep work. And a life spelt multitasking is a fraction of your potential compared to a life of diving deep into one topic and focusing on that one topic for blocks of time every single day. You've got to become best friends with diving deep into one topic. Stop fluttering about between doing this and doing that and getting bored of this and then changing to that and not being good enough initially at this so you decide to try this. No, that is not what you want. If you want to become an expert at something which drives passion, becoming an expert at something drives passion, then you've got to dive deep into a single topic. And whilst I'm not there yet, the books tell me this, so I can proudly present to you this information with confidence, and I'm on my way to getting towards that place. Before you begin each day, first of all, prioritize what you need to do. There's this rule called the Pareto rule, whereas 80% of your results can come from 20% of your activities. And oftentimes those activities are the long, boring activities, the hard activities, the activities you normally procrastinate. Those are the activities that if you do, you will get huge results. So figure out which activities in your day you can do that will get you 80% of the results for 20% of the effort. Then do these things. What's better than prioritizing? prioritizing these things throughout the day, scheduling these things. Make it a specific block in your calendar to say, I'm going to dive deep into this topic, whether it's writing or speaking or whatever the case may be, dive deep into certain topics and schedule a block of time that during that during that time, you're going to do only that activity. This will stop you from fluttering about and doing this and doing that. But during this time, you don't do anything else. You leave your phone away. You set your emails off and you only do this block of time. Make it as important in your calendar as any meeting would be. You have to do that. And when you come to this block of time, the time that you've dedicated to doing some deep work, make sure that your environment is perfect. Make sure that your phone is out of reach or even out of sight, that's even better still. Make sure that your emails are turned off, you're not gonna get email notifications. Study in Pomodoro chunks. What this is, is you study for 25 minutes, you take a five minute break. You study for 25 minutes, you take a five minute break. And by doing this, you think, right, I'm only gonna settle down for 25 minutes. I've only gotta focus for 25 minutes and that's much more manageable by thinking to myself right I've only got to sit down and I'm going to concentrate the best of my ability for the next 25 minutes that's so much easier to get yourself to will yourself to dive deep into a topic because you're only doing it for 25 minutes then you can have a little break and when you're out and about in the world don't go on your phone I'm not going to say it's the worst thing in the world to do because there can be beneficial times if you have to be on a journey, you have to be on a commute, then yeah, it's fine to listen to an audiobook and download some knowledge. But for God's sake, don't do it when you're with friends. Be present to the moment. Enjoy every single second of life. If you're in an if you're in somewhere that you're not going to get to experience it again, like a concert, don't spend your whole time on the phone. Stop recording the concert. Just be present. Enjoy it. And love life by doing this.